thanks for stopping by. I uh, made a commitment to myself that I was going to participate in more swaps and challenges on YouTube. This is the first one that I decided to work on. This is for Margie and she is Margie's This That and Beyond here on YouTube. She is hosting her 60th birthday challenge giveaway and her birthday is uh, June 4th. The package is not actually due until July 7th and she did that because um, her birthday is in June and her, her and her husband's anniversary is in July so she wanted to keep it open until then. Things that she requested that she would like to receive and one of those was a pocket letter with a floral flowery theme so that's what I am doing also sending her a birthday card I made this little envelope out of a gift bag that I had and I just cut it down to the size I needed and made a little envelope out of it I think it turned out really cute and I'll show you that in just a minute. But first, I'm going to show you the card that I made. I used a Paige Evans collection called Splendid. It was one of the cut apart sheets in there. So I just cut it down and I made a simple little card. And I added some crystal stickles to the flowers to give it a little shimmer. Then I added a couple of jimmies, and for now the inside is blank. I might add something decorative in here. I made a card out of pink cardstock for it to go into. I'll probably just write her a note on a separate piece of paper. That way, if she wants to use this card for something else, she'll be able to do that. I added. Velcro closure here. Here is the pocket letter. And I'll just kind of pan up so you can get a look at it. So cute, it was so much fun to put together. I love making these pocket letters. So I'll just start up at the top here. I made a simple little dangle and I put some beads on that say happy birthday and then i added four of these garment pins with some flowers so she can take all this off of here and reuse it and then i also added um, one with some seam binding samples and i just wrapped a clear rubber band around it so easily she can take those off of there and use those on projects if she wants to and all of the little elements on the front I did put on with uh, temporary blue dots so she can remove everything off of here um, with the exception of these stickers and this stip strip here this is this already had this sticky back on it I got this from a BB craft haul I did and all of these are cut aparts from the collection so here is the top and she requested a flower theme so i tried to do as much floral um things in here and included a little bit about her birthday too so this has a birthday cake and down here it says a slice of cake and i just went through my stash of flowers that i had made and mixed them up and added them to the front. I added this little banner that was from the ephemera pack that came with the collection kit. My little bird, hopefully he's not gonna fall off in the mail. Um, I did make a sequins mix in the middle there and I put that in a little mesh pocket so she can pull that out and use that if she wants to on something. Down here are some of my flowers. And that is what the front looks like. And then on the back, 
I tried to include some handmade paper flowers. So these, I just made these tiny little ones um, a couple days ago. So I included some of those and some of these and some little pink bows, so cute. And then um, this I got at Hobby Lobby. It's a lot more dainty than I thought. I really love it. So I got um, that in yellow and pink. So I thought I would share some of that with her. Then I painted these uh, wood pieces with some chalk paint. And there's a couple of cut apart or uh, embellishment pieces from the collection in here. I forget what the one underneath is, but I'm not gonna try to take it out. <laughs> And here's some more flowers that I made. And then some banner strips. The one on the top has flowers. The, the second one I just stitched around and then the others are just plain. And I thought it would be fun to put this little tote in there since it's got a lot of flowers. And I made it three dimensional so she could tuck something down in there. That is my pocket letter I made. I'm gonna go ahead and Pack it up and don't touch it anymore so it doesn't get any more damaged. So I also include her card, write her a little note as well. I also made my very first ATC card. I did try to do a little collaging and I added some distress ink and paper tearing uh, with some layering. And then I added a couple of dew drops the proper dimensions which is two and a half by three and a half and then I rounded the corners and then I put uh, my information on the back uh, the blonde, blonde Amazon she's on YouTube and she's having her 2024 day challenge and she asked for uh, ATC cards and to mention my birthday, what my favorite colors are, my favorite snack. So I included all of that. I hope this is a good ATC card. I'm going to send that to her and then I'm going to add this. Uh, write a little note in here wishing her a happy birthday. That's two challenges that I signed up for in my swap book that I am accomplishing today. So I'm very proud of myself for doing that. In front of me is a uh, stacked envelope. I joined a challenge that's hosted by Penny's Crafty Creations um, on YouTube. And she's having a envelope stack challenge to celebrate her three year anniversary on YouTube. Congratulations to Penny, first of all. Yay, three years is a huge achievement to be on YouTube. So the, the stacked envelope needs to have at least three envelopes. And then she's also asking for an ATC with your name, your address, and your date of birth. And uh, if you wanna put like your favorite color and whatever else you wanna put on the ATC card. Inside each envelope, she's asking for two pieces of ephemera. And then somewhere on the stack, she's asking that you put your channel name if you have a YouTube channel or Instagram. This is what I put together. I am using the Gingham Garden Paper Collection and it'll fit just perfectly in there, hopefully. I'll send it on its way. So this is my envelope stack. I did make my envelopes. I didn't use any envelopes that I had around. Probably the way to do it is to use envelopes you have. I decided to go a different route and I made mine. So the top here is my ATC card and I put that in a vellum uh, envelope and you just flip it up and then you can take it out. So I'll just give you an overall view of what it looks like. And then on the back, I added my information. Did do some distressing around all the edges of the envelopes and even my card here. That's a cute little touch on the back. It's a paper wax seal. Let's just go through these one at a time. Let me move this out just a hair. 
All right, so on top is my ATC card. And let's take that out. I have not put my information on the back yet. I went ahead and stamped some of these. Um, this was from a Chaos Craft stamp set. I will put my information on here before I send it off. On the front, I just use some of the bits from the one of the uh, Paperia collections that came with the gingham paper collection. And I did some paper tearing and just layered it up. I added one of the stickers and a little enamel dot there. Put that back in there. And on the front of this envelope, decorated a little bit, I put a stamp on there, then a piece of paper, and I layered up uh, the chipboard pieces from the collection. These are all attached together, so then you flip it up to display the back of the envelope. And I decorated it, just layered it up a little bit. Inside are my ephemera pieces. First, I'll show you, I decorated the top of the second envelope. And here are my ephemera pieces, my first pocket. This is seam binding. I wanted to practice doing the ruffle stitching on there. It's kind of hard, but it looks okay. And then this is the second envelope, so I'm just going to flip that over. Here is the back of this envelope. And I have my two ephemera pieces. And this one. I really wanted to practice uh, doing little clusters because I struggle with that. So this one was fun to do. I have a little tool back there. Mini, mini um, rosette made out of crepe paper. The last envelope. Here's the front of the last envelope. Again, I added one of those stamp ephemera pieces. And then if you flip this over, my two embellishments. Super fun to make. So all I need to do is add my information on the back of my ATC card and this will be ready to go. That's challenge number three for me this week that I'm getting ready to send out. I am very proud of what I have done this week as far as getting challenges and swaps out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.